I saw the technical directing program and I saw all the amazing stuff that those people do. Like, wow, this is amazing. I want to do that. I see a TD uh, mixture of an artist and a person who likes technical background and programming. So it's the perfect mixture if you like art and programming and math. The most frightening thing is, oh, I have to know software engineering and I have to be really good at it. You don't. I mean, it's a plus, but you don't have to know, you don't have to be a professional software engineer to become a TD, basically. First, I wanted to be an animator because I loved animation and like moving characters and bringing them to life. But then uh, I kind of always, I wanted to animate basically, but to be able to animate, I wanted to have my own rig, which works the way I want it. So I did the rig and then I always got stuck at the rig because I was so excited about the rigging process. So I spent most of the time in the rigging process. Here's the thing, like I was coming to the FMX 2009 and I saw like, crazy stuff happening outside of where I am from, Austria, like not much is happening there. And then I've heard about the Film Academy having a great program and students doing stuff, but it doesn't look like student work. It's like a professional work as you could expect it from any VFX or animation company. I don't even remember the reason, but I got really interested in real-time graphics and games and interactivity and uh, talking with the people who studied uh, interactive media at the Film Academy and see what they are doing. And like, oh my God, I wanna do that. So I got into real-time graphics, did some research, and then decided, okay, I wanna go into games. From, so from studying in Jerusalem, saying I want to work at Pixar, I went to the Film Academy and said, oh my God, I want to work into games. I mean, I was interested in virtual production, um, which is basically making films with uh, like the like use of like real-time tools, like game engines and stuff. At that point, Film Academy was one of the only schools that were actually applying those techniques and trying to do research to see how can we make movies better by using real-time techniques. And that was the moment for me where I said, I want to do cool stuff with new technologies and see where everything kind of goes. It was great to be at the Film Academy where everything focuses only on, on CG and you're surrounded by people who do exactly the same. Thing. One of the amazing things at the Film Academy is that there is so much stuff to, to use. The hardware is extremely amazing. There's all the software as you can imagine. And I remember like the first year I said like, dude, I want to stay here forever. Like this is like paradise. You have like the best equipment you can get. Even like in the companies, you won't have those equipments. Yeah, it was very exciting to be mentored by people from the industry who bring in knowledge from like, uh, known movies. It's like the best place to actually be in this industry, do projects, talk to people and exchange information.